Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Very excited for today's beer. It's courtesy of Dusty. Thanks so much, Dusty. Really appreciate it. And uh, I think this is a new brewery for me. It's Southern Grist. Um, heard a lot of good things. And unless I'm completely forgetting, I've uh, never had a beer from them. And it sounds like a beer I'm really going to enjoy. Uh, he and I have similar palates, it seems like, especially for things like stouts and IPAs. Um, he likes sours more than I do. But anyway, um, although I'm coming around a little bit. Uh, this one's called Fluffernutter. Shocker, it's an imperial stout uh, aged with peanut butter, I'm sorry, brewed with peanut butter and marshmallows, 10.1% uh, ABV. Uh, so pretty interested to see how much marshmallow taste comes through. Um, been having an ongoing conversation with a couple people about um, to get that marshmallow taste in a stout, how vanilla, uh, sorry, vanilla, let me say it better, um, gives at least me and I know like Joe from the Beer Patrol more of a marshmallow taste. Whereas sometimes when these beers are brewed with marshmallows, it's just extra sugar and doesn't quite come across as marshmallow. So uh, hoping this comes across very much like a fluffernutter, uh, hence the name. Um, a sandwich I had a little bit growing up. Uh, we were pretty tra well, traditional uh, doing peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. My dad's big move was toasting bread, peanut butter, sliced bananas. Uh, but yes, fluffernutters was a thing I ate as a child sometimes, and I'm excited to have an adult version. Let's get into it. Just had dinner, so this is like, you know, maybe hopefully a desserty beer. Oh, not much head. <laughs> Pour a little more aggressive, try to get some head going. I smell some peanut butter, I'll tell you that much. So yeah, not much head, and what is there is going away very quickly. That's a dark beer, um, dark mocha, head a little bit that's um, still in the ring there. Oh, geez, dirty glass. Yeah, a little bit better. Um, let's go this way. Oh, so perfect. Um, but yeah, in the center, you can totally, it just has a ring around the um, uh, glass, the center. All you see is the actual liquid. So yeah, head went quickly. Not much there to begin with. Um, a mocha, dark, dark mocha, dark black beer. Looks like an imperial stout. Let's get into aroma. Yep. Crazy peanut butter, nice level of sweetness. Reminds me a little bit of that PM Dawn, but doesn't have the the peanut butter, but doesn't have that level of roast that that did because it had the uh, coffee as well. I get that sweetness. I'm not getting anything that screams marshmallow. Again, I think that's where uh, if this had some vanilla beans in it, that would help with the aroma to me at least smelling like marshmallows, but definitely smells at this point, if it tastes as good as it smells, I'll be happy. It smells like a really good peanut butter stout. If there's any marshmallow component, as far as I'm concerned, it's just like the cherry on top. Like, you'll just make it that much better. But yeah, that aroma is awesome. But similar thing with the Pam Dawn. With that peanut butter, it's hard to get other things. There's a little bit of chocolate. Like it, it's, but it's not Reese's peanut butter cup, but it, it has uh, the sweet peanut butter, the sweetness overall. Just smells good. I can't say a lot about it. Let's get to the taste. Cheers. It's good. Definitely get the um, roast more than the taste that I got in the aroma without being overdone. The finish is drier than I would have thought. A lot of dark chocolate. The peanut butter is there, not overpowering at all, but it is there. Uh, that nutty, not creaminess, but like that peanut butter essence, if you will. Um, pleasant. I don't get a lot of the marshmallow. To me, I think... I, I, I'm just gonna like I've been saying this whole video. To me, I think it just adds a level of sweetness. Um, it's a very good beer. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I I get some uh, fruit, like dark fruit, not enough to be a peanut butter and jelly sandwich kind of a beer, but it's like that berry, certain dark fruits. 
how if you eat a piece of dark chocolate, it can invoke some of those kind of tastes. It's like that. It's not straight the fruit. It's like that reminiscence of it. It's a really nice level of peanut butter. It's not overdone. Um, I've had some bad peanut butter stouts uh, um, in the craft beer world. Uh, this is not one of them. This is quite delicious. Um, I got this right in my cellar. It does not have a lot of booze for 10.1. Um, I don't get really any warmth even. Definitely no burn uh, being double digits. But yeah, as advertised, just that marshmallow piece. That level of sweetness is nice. If I was them, um, probably not going to be surprised what I'm about to say. I throw some vanilla beans in there too, and then that I think would help uh, give the illusion of actual marshmallow. But this is a great chocolate peanut butter sweet without being too like again Reese's peanut butter cup. Um, it's interesting how the peanut butter just kind of like is a relatively subtle adjunct. It's really not overpowering. It just adds and it complements it well without dominating. Yeah, I really like this beer. Um, there's something to be said about nuance, and I think the level of peanut butter is uh, nuanced in this, and there's nothing wrong with that. Thanks for sending it. Cool beer. I'm excited to keep sipping on it. Thank you guys for watching. I always appreciate that. Check me out on Instagram when I tapped. No high beer reviews at both those places. So always please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.